Now, a bit of a breaking news coming in. It's official. South Africa has a new president. A day after Mr. Zuma stepped down, Cyril Ramfusa has just been elected by the parliament. Now, this is an important development which has taken place. After Zuma's exit, new dispensation has come. Zuma was actually forced out. It was not, a, it was not something that there was a gentle nudge which took place. We wholeheartedly support the nomination, uh, Mr. President. We realize that you have no magic wand to cure the ills of the past. But we trust that in the execution of your duties, you will do the right thing. You will get rid of the scourge of corruption. You will inspire hope in all South Africans and international investors. You will remove from your cabinet all those who are allegedly involved in... Let me go across to my colleague uh, Ramesh Ramchandran from the newsroom. Uh, Ramesh, how significant is this development? And put it in the context, uh, it's as if, you know, even in the uh, African regimes where democracy or the you know, elections take place where the leaders change, the average span goes beyond a decade. You, know, you look at uh, Congo, Mr. Kabila replaced uh, Mobutu, but the fact of the matter is he refuses to give in. And in this case, again, Zuma was just refusing to quit despite the fact that you know, the whole party was against him. Indeed, uh, as you mentioned, Karthike, Cyril Ramaphosa is the new president of South Africa. But that said, if you look at the recent history of South Africa, Jacob Zuma was completing his second consecutive term. And as per the Constitution of South Africa, a president can only have two consecutive terms. So in any case, he was, he would have stepped down next year. But the ANC, his party, forced him out because they thought it was best to cut their losses right now, go into the elections rather than next year. But that said, Silip Ramaphosa is a veteran ANC leader, is a former business person and one of the uh, stalwarts of the ANC party. And a challenge before him going forward would be to put to rest all the corruption allegations swirling around the ANC government of the day uh, and also to lead the party in the next elections uh, due in 2019. Uh, but then in context of the, uh, the South African politics, is it a big change? Is it a paradigm shift? Is it a generation shift? In a sense, yes. Uh, if you look at uh, the, two, the, the two, two leaders, uh, Cyril Ramaphosa is 65 years old, younger than Jacob Zuma. And number one. And number two, he commands the overwhelming majority of the ANC party, the party cadre. Remember, he became the president of the ANC in December last year. And by virtue of being the president, he was tipped to be the front runner for the post of president. And under the Constitution of South Africa, once the vacancy arises, the deputy president automatically becomes the president. What we saw happen in the Parliament of South Africa just moments ago is the official election of uh, Cyril Ramaphosa as the president. He was sworn in by the Chief Justice of uh, the South African High Court, Supreme Court. And just to give uh, viewers a flavor of what happened inside the House, uh, Karthike, uh, soon after he was elected president, the lawmakers broke out into a song, which was uh, unheard of, uh, you know, in, 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 in recent memory at least, as far as the Chief Justice goes, he says, uh, in, a, in a Supreme Court, uh, one rarely hears a song, but in the Parliament of South Africa, everybody broke into a song to welcome and congratulate uh, Cyril Ramaphosa as the new president of South Africa. Thank you, Ramesh. Thank you for this update.